Support us by support. Today we did uh, basically mass vaccinations of a lot of the guests that are here at Port McCoy. Uh, we went through some of their uh, forms, made sure all their paperwork was looking right, and then provided them with vaccines for tetanus, diphtheria, um, polio, uh, hepatitis B for certain age groups, as well as uh, mumps, measles, rubella, and chickenpox, as well as COVID-19. Uh, for the mass vaccination sites, I'm one of the uh, nurse-like pod managers. Basically, uh, myself and another RN uh, in each of the buildings that we're doing this in, we're watching for seven to eight pods, making sure that things are flowing well. If anybody needs any help or any questions answered, we're there to help out and uh, do that. I think for our like first day of doing the mass vaccination site, that it went pretty good. Obviously, there's some kinks, but considering it was the first day, it went pretty well. In the mass vaccination process, I am a linguist. So I am proficient in Dari, Persian Dari, which um, about half of the Afghan population speaks. So I'm here to help facilitate vaccinations between the providers and our guests. A lot of the things that we help facilitate is explaining what vaccines they're getting, what kinds of side effects they might experience, and then how long they have to wait and where they're waiting. And It's actually, it makes me happy because anytime I talk to a guest, they always seem surprised and it puts a smile on their face to know that some of the soldiers also speak their language in a really, really tough and different situation for them. 